The Daily Show's Trevor Noah addressed Trump's press conference with Mitch McConnell. On Tuesday night Trevor Noah, broadcasting live from Chicago's Athenaeum Theater, addressed Donald Trump's impromptu press conference with Mitch McConnell and his claim, made that day, that other presidents did not call the families of fallen American soldiers. Yesterday President Trump held a surprise press conference with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Noah began. All of this is happening because Donald Trump's presidency has resulted in no major legislative accomplishments, and part of it is because people think Trump and the Senate don't he get along. Which is true, but they don't he want people knowing that. Which is why Trump and Mitch came out to say that they were not just colleagues, they've here been best BFFs forever. Noah then showed clips from the press conference, in which the two adopted obsequious tones when talking about one another, with the president classifying their relationship as outstanding and adding that he and McConnell were closer than ever before. It is funny watching these two try and sell us their romance, the host said. Who are they trying to convince? Because all you have to do is compare yesterday to every other thing that they've said. Noah then summarized Trump and McConnell's fraught relationship showing footage from earlier this year in which Trump said he was disappointed in Mitch, plus the president has several tweets about McConnell and a report from this past summer that alleged Trump berated him in a phone call that quickly devolved into a profane shouting match. Isn't he that love? Every phone call devolves into a profane shouting match. Noah joked. So the goal of the press conference was to make everyone forget about all of that stuff. Trump did accomplish that. He made people forget the same way he usually makes people forget about any issue, by creating an entirely new issue. Noah then showed more clips from the press conference, including the now infamous moment when Trump falsely claimed past presidents did not call the families of American soldiers killed in combat. In the clip, the president says he has not called the families of the soldiers killed last week in Niger, but will at some point, adding that he plans to send them letters as well. I am not sure what s worse, Noah replied. The fact that President Trump said nothing after four American soldiers were killed in Niger, or the fact that his first public statement about it was basically the dog ate my homework. Instead of just admitting fault, he somehow found a way to make this about Obama. Noah continued, launching into his impersonation of Trump, I don't you know if you noticed what he just did there, President Obama never called, I call and I write. 